they just yelling and shit. I'm like responding. I think I'm laughing at this point, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, look at these fools. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? YouTube, what it do? It's your homie, the one and only. Welcome to the player map. This is the We're going to have a lot of game, yourself, and of course, that tempting Tina. Yiddy. Okay, none of that bullshit's out of the way. Let's get into the program for the day. I titled this one, You Gotta Know How to Process Your Emotions and Think Clearly. Processing emotions and thinking clearly. You gotta know how to do this. I remember when I was in high school. I think I was around. Fifteen, sixteen, because I graduated high school at seventeen. You did. So when I was like fifteen, sixteen, I was in this like, it was like detention center, but it wasn't a detention center. Either. It was like a homeless place for like bad people. Like that was like out of town. Like the, the judge said, because he didn't want to send it back to juvie. So he's like, because he's seen, like, you know what I'm saying, like shit was going on at home. Like, I'll probably talk about that another time, you know what I'm saying? But like, the point is, I was at this, like, juvie place. Like, that was for, like, homeless bad kids, you know what I'm saying? So moving forward, my uncle, like, he had came to one of my courts, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, listen, like, instead of going to, like, the boys' home, like, it was about to be, like, because the place I was at was, like, boys and girls, you know what I'm saying? So there was girls there. So, you know me, like, it, it was, like, school. We went to school and shit. We went to school. We went outside, like, shit like that. I was there for, like, a month, you know what I'm saying? Like, two weeks or something like that. But, like, it was, like, while I was having court and shit, because they didn't want to send me to, to, to basically back to juvie while I was waiting on, like, my court results to send me to this shit. But yeah, so my uncle came to like, what about court hearings? And he was like, listen, instead of you going to the all boy like group home, that's what they was trying to send me to an all boy group home. You know what I'm saying? Like, long story short, he's like, let's go to, he's like, instead of going to the all boy group home, like, you can come stay with me. So I went to go stay with him at his house in Neptune. So fast forward from that, like, I ended up living there. It was my uncle and his wife and me. Like, I understand that from, like, my junior year to, like, the beginning of, like, my senior type of shit, like, end of my junior year. It was, like, really, like, a few months. And how it went down was, like, for the summer, like, because, oh, yeah, junior year, you ended. Yeah, and for the summer, my uncle was, like, I want you to go stay with your grandma for whatever reason. Like, I think he got mad or whatever because he think I snuck a girl in his house. Which is crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if I did, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Like, anyways, to move forward. I ended up staying with my grandma for like the weekend, for the summer. Like, it was supposed to be for the weekend, and it ended up being the summer. And the next thing you know, he like, he called me one day before the summer was over and he's like, listen, I don't want you to come back here. Nah, I think it's better if you just stay with your grandma. So like, my uncle lived in Neptune. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can consider that like a nicer neighborhood. My grandma, she lived right in the hood. You know what I'm saying? It's like back where we grew up at. Like back where like, when I was young, young, young. Like it was literally right around the block. Like the place my mom tried to move out of to keep me away from trouble. This nigga basically said, I want you to stay there. You know what I'm saying? Like, so long story short. I end up have to go get my clothes because I didn't bring all my stuff with me. You know what I'm saying? So I end up having to go get all my clothes for this nigga house. So I go there. I go get all my stuff. And 
this nigga like making a big ass like dramatic scene like with his wife like you know what I'm saying like try to argue with me get in my face and shit you know what I'm saying his wife like hold him back like you about to do something I'm just looking at this nigga like what the fuck is y'all niggas got going I'm just trying to get my stuff get out of my face so I'm just like you know what I'm saying just trying to walk past him they just yelling and shit I'm not even responding I think I'm laughing at this point, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, look at these fools. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Like, how are y'all adults? You know what I'm saying? I'm just laughing at these clowns. Just laughing like, you guys are great role models. Ha, ha, ha. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just trying to get my stuff. They keep trying to block me. Like, not let me get my shit. They want to keep talking. I'm like, I don't want to talk. Like, y'all don't want to tell me to get my stuff. I'm cool with that. They trying to get me to stay. Like, I don't want to stay. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just in control of my emotions. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not letting, you know, my uncle get in my face. Cause I already know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll whoop his ass, you know what I'm saying? Like, my uncle's like, he's literally like smaller than me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've always known I'll be my uncle up once I got to a certain side. Cause he kind of, he was the one who kind of taught me how to fight. Like, you know what I'm saying? He taught me how to put my hands up and shit like that. But he was always little. You know what I'm saying? And at a certain point, when you know certain things, because at this point in high school, I was like, I was fucking a monster at wrestling. Like, there wasn't many kids in my weight that could beat me in the area, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was a monster when it came to wrestling. Like, I went to fucking states, you know what I'm saying? So that's why it transitions over to MMA nowadays. But my point is, like, I had to control my emotions through this whole situation just to get my shit to do, you know what I'm saying? man shit because man shit was you know what I'm saying he told me to get my shit and go stay with my grandma okay motherfucker I didn't even want to come to your house in the first place that's how I was thinking because I already knew what was going to go on you know what I'm saying this nigga begged me to come stay with him you know what I'm saying I'm not trying to put dirt on my uncle name or nothing you know what I'm saying I still got love for my uncle because everything happened the way it was supposed to happen I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't because of those situations if I was grown this is just me you know what I'm saying sharing moments in time where you have to learn how to control your emotions to get through situations and handle shit. That's what bosses do, you dig? Like, that's what gods and goddesses and kings and queens, like, that's what they do. That's their type of energy. That's their type of, okay, I'm gonna handle this business. Like, I'm not allowing personal feelings to get involved with business. Like, that was a very personal experience. This is why I'm sharing that. You, know, you dig? Like, that's game. Like, pick up game for me. You know what I'm saying? But I, right, y'all. Catch you in the next program.